Hello, this is going to be a demo about the improved namespace handling in Che and also a new feature uh, and that is the user-defined namespace uh, for a workspace deployment. So let me now first um, go to my Che checkout and uh, Check out the 732 release and deploy that using a Helm chart, just so that we see how the upgrades work. Uh, we are going to be deploying workspaces into the Che namespace, i.e. the same one that Che server runs in, which is how the operator does that as well. This is just upgrading the plugin registry and uh, the file registry to the same version as uh, the Che server, which seems to be a bug uh, that we are going to address in some next sprint. And wait for uh, the Che server and everything to deploy correctly. Let's go to the uh, let's add a new workspace in uh, Che seven three two. Call it some name. Now let me speed up the time. So now our workspace is running and we're going to create a new file in here just to see that the, uh, the persistent volumes are still associated with the workspace and that you know, user-defined data are still there. So let's create a new file, put some stuff in there. And now uh, let's upgrade chat to uh, the latest version. So I'll just create my, uh, go to my branch, um, which is going to be merged in master and upgrade upgrade the chain installation using the helm chart, using the same config so that uh, the namespaces are not, or the workspace namespaces are not lost. And we'll see how that's handled later on. Again, I need to manually upgrade the versions of the registries. And wait for the latest version of chat to come up. So let's just double check that the, helm, the, the config map the, contains both the old and new configuration. The old configuration is important so that the workspaces created in the old configuration can still be uh, correctly accessed. And now let's change the new configuration, namespace configuration, to a different value called username dash new and restart restart the server so now let's check that the old workspace that we actually haven't restarted is still there our file is there too and now We're going to stop the workspace and start it again, just to see that uh, when we recreate the workspace, uh, just server correctly finds the correct namespace that it, sh it should be deployed to, and uh, and binds it with the correct uh, persistent volume. So we are now in an updated uh, chess server to the latest version, but we're opening a workspace created in an old version, and we want to make sure that uh, it is again started in the old namespace. So this is our old uh, workspace, and our old, old file is still there as it should be. So now, Let's create a new workspace. A 
let's call it in new so that it's we know that it's been created in the new configuration and speed up time so let's do the same thing create a file in this new workspace just to check that the PVs are still uh, accessible in the future Now let's check that this new workspace uh, was created in a new uh, in the newly configured uh, namespace. So we can see that there's not only the chair namespace but also uh, the chair new where chair is the name of the user. Uh, I'm using a single single user chair, so that's the default username. And we can see that there is a workspace in the new namespace that corresponds to the new workspace that we've seen in the UI. So now let's just add yet uh, change that um, namespace configuration again so that the new workspaces will be created in a namespace called username dash ws and I need to properly quote my command. Let's restart the chess server to for the new configuration to be applied. And now let's just stop the previously created workspace um, just now and let's see that if we start it again uh, it will still be able to find its uh, persistent volume i.e. it will be started in the namespace it was originally created with despite the change in configuration and let's speed up time. So the workspace is running, so let's see if the file is still file is still there. And just for the fun of it, let's just create another workspace and to make sure that it's uh, created in the latest version of the configuration. So now our uh, third workspace is created and let's just do the same, create a file in there. So now we have three workspaces each running in a different namespace and chess server handling in it all. Let's just check that yeah there are three name chair related namespaces chair chair new and chair ws and a workspace is running in that latest namespace. So now let's uh, check out the the new feature of uh, running a uh, workspace in a custom namespace. So this is a curl command that invokes the REST API. Let's just quote it so that we don't have to escape the URL. Like this. Only to be met with with an error message because the user defined namespaces are by default not allowed because it's a potentially dangerous feature and not every uh, cluster installation is going to support that. So let's change our uh, config map and allow these user defined namespaces using this configuration variable. Set it to true, restart our G server. And try again. 
can using a query parameter for infrastructure namespace and we see now that uh, workspace has been created so let's go to the UI and try to start it and once it's started we are going to see that it's in a yet different namespace so let's speed up time so now that the workspace is running, let's just quickly check that it's indeed running in the namespace that we uh, requested in the, in the URL. So yep, a new namespace is running there and the workspace is indeed deployed in there. So that concludes my demo. Uh, thanks everyone for, for listening and see you next time. Thank you.